in this tutorial i am going to create this simple bracket and we will do the static analysis for the part we will fix this part and we will apply a thousand psi pressure on one side and we will observe and we will find out the factor of safety also so let's do this simple project in solidworks i hope you like it now here first we will create a part then later we will do the static analysis for part and we will observe and create many number of plots and even we will check factor of safety so first i am going to create one part so i am going to do this first top plane i am going to create corner rectangle 160 tab 89 enter press escape key to out now radius 25 and i am going to select these two corners okay cancel and extruded boss base and i'm going to make depth 10 mm okay select the back face sketch activate line tool right click exit 3 point arc create something like this okay activate line tool create something like go back to the point and see this is going to convert into arc right click select now select this one and this arc tangent relation between these two even this point also tangent now let me create this point also click tangent a smart dimension Seventy five, sixty four divided by two. Distance from here to here, one fifty six, and make the radius twelve. Fine. Extruded boss base. Keep eight millimeter reverse. Okay. Select this face. or select back face sketch circle 64 enter exit now select these outer lines concentric extruded boss base 10 mm in one side 54 total 64 mm select this face sketch let me create a hole here enter choose extruded boss base up to next okay that's fine select this face sketch let's say normal to plot corner rectangle and here say 8 tap 50 enter right click okay look the dimension is applied extrude now extrude i want to extrude up to this body so simply i am going to select here in end condition up to next say okay that's it now this is our body okay let's make a hole for fixture so i am going to select top face sketch 20 enter exit smart dimension 38 50 extruded cut okay linear pattern i am going to select this edge let's say 64 two number of patterns reverse okay now our model is ready so let's apply right click on material edit material and simply i am going to apply alloy steel apply close now look now let's move for study so right click on this tab go to tab and from here check simulation is activated or not it is not activated so there is one more option go to add ins activates 
solid work simulation and uh, just wait few second and it is come here <coughs> now first i am going to choose new study and here you can name this study so i am going to keep as it is static one we are going to do a static analysis for this part okay now here you will see this is the static simulation static analysis tree and uh, here you will see the first one is you will see there is tick mark on this it means material already applied so next option is we are going to apply connections this is a single part so we don't need for connection the next is fixture we need to fix this part to because once we applied pressure we will see what exactly happened to this so let's fix this part first you can drop down this fixture advisor or right click on fixture and click fix geometry now in type fix geometry here we have to select these two faces see now if you want to change the symbol see here color let's say red see even though you can change the size 200 show preview uncheck color size also like uh, 150 oh that's fine okay now it will show you one fix system gives name fixed one means these two faces are fixed okay now next option is apply external right click and from here apply pressure or drop down the menu and click pressure now normal in type choose normal to selected face i am going to apply pressure on this face now see arrow moves this direction so this is what i want now pressure how much pressure we need to apply here let's say 1000 psi i am going to choose psi let's 1000 psi even you can change the direction reverse direction but this is the exact way we can apply and even though you can change the symbol color and size everything now let's say okay now pressure applied now let's create a mesh mesh actually right click you can create mesh drop down just arrow and create mesh now if you move finer side you will get a accurate result but your system will hang and it will take too much time to calculate so i'm going to keep this one as it is even if you see in advance uh, activate mesh parameters see these are the elements and there are number of nodes we will see if you reduce this size you will increase the mesh size and it will increase your uh, calculation time so this one i am going to keep as it is now this is going to calculate now see there are these small lines are element and the points called node if you right click on mesh see details now here you will see uh, total nodes 16,000 if this is going to high you will get a accurate result okay so this is up to you and uh, you will see all the detail mesh quality high and uh, maximum num minimum and maximum number of elements this element size 6.8 millimeter okay this is a jacobian point high quality mesh 16 point okay okay this is the uh, mesh we already created now directly run this study so click on this even if you drop down you will see run this study now it will take few seconds and see this is our result now right click this is the our stress plot we have in result we have three plots stress displacement and strain now look stress is a physical quantity that describes forces present during deformation now look this unit shows in uh, you will see newton per square meter so right click edit definition and here display misses stress and here unit i am going to change psi okay now this is the deformation scale this is exaggerated view look how much it deform 
and this is the plot you see one misses psi strength yield strength value is shown here and this is lies somewhere between this there is a plot tool click and choose animate and i'm going to select from top view and see you can manage uh, speed from here if you reduce speed going to slow if you do speed going to fast play pause all the buttons are here if even if you want to save this one you can do it okay okay let's double click on displacement now displacement unit shows in millimeter if you want shows in uh, other in edit definition and here you can uh, change unit okay now here this is exaggerated view let's see first exaggerated view animate look this is totally exaggerated view in real time not this much displacement happened it is very small so just uh, do one thing right click edit definition and here change true scale in deformation shape definition true scale okay now play animate look a very small definition see a small displacement happen see here deformation scale let's check from top look see this displacement is very small okay done similarly double click on strain now uh, strain the cause of mechanical deformation as the result of strain now let's check how much this is deformations happened see this is the plot for uh, stress now let's do one thing let's find out the factor of safety for our product so right click on result and here define factor of safety plot okay now first i am going to choose all now here what i want to make criterion so here i am going to describe or i want to calculate or plot misses stress okay see next now here i want to make yield strength go to next and factor of safety distribution okay now look our factor of safety distribution minimum factor of safety 0.454 so this is a very small you will see in some places okay let's uh, do one thing let's do plotting the crit critical region of the part so uh, what i am going to do is right click or uh, just uh, go to okay go to drop down result advisor new plot and here choose factor of safety okay now here i am going to choose stress because this is i want to find go to next now here i am going to choose strength next now here area below factor of safety 1 so it will show you which area or critical or unsafe area in this say okay now look now look the region with the factor of safety less than 1 unsafe zone are shown in red see these red zones are unsafe and the region with a higher factor of safety are shown in blue see the blue regions are safe this red regions are unsafe region you will see don't forget to share okay let's uh, do one thing if you want to calculate this all report you can simply click my system is not accepting because i have microsoft 3 word 365 it this report won't work with microsoft 365 either you have simple microsoft word 2003 or later 
it is not going to work with officially it is not going to work with 365 so you can cal uh, click and calculate all the reports in one page in pdf form or uh, in a wordpress form don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching